The following is a video presentation on the proper use of the Sea Snake Flat Pack. It's designed to make the operation of your flat pack easy and efficient. The flat pack is designed to inspect lines one and a half inches to four inches in diameter, including floor drains, stack lines, vent pipes, ventilation ducts, crawl spaces, and any other space needing a visual inspection. Before assembling or operating the flat pack, be sure to read the operator's manual. Safety instructions are located in the front of the manual. Read and understand all the safety and operating instructions before operating the flat pack. Read all warning labels on the machine. Always wear safety glasses and rubber gloves while operating a sea snake. For your convenience, this video is divided into the following segments so you can quickly find what you need. Setup, Operating Instructions, Video Recording, At the Job Site, Transportation and Storage, Cleaning the Sea Snake. After reading all the safety information in the operator's manual, place the drum so the push cable is easy to manage as you push the camera through the line. Two to three feet, about one meter from the access point, is usually the optimal location. Set the monitor in an area where it is unlikely to fall and where it can be viewed while you're pushing the camera. A good location is right next to the cleanout or entry point. Caution! Misuse of the push cable will result in breakage requiring factory service. To prevent serious injury, proper setup of the machine and work area is required. Check work area for adequate lighting, grounded electrical outlet, clear path to the electrical outlet, dry place for the machine and operator. Do not use this machine in standing water or near flammable liquids, vapors, or dust that may ignite. Connect the monitor pack to an AC outlet using the supplied AC adapter. If desired, you can install an optional Makita 14.4 volt rechargeable battery into the battery holder on the rear of the unit instead of using the AC adapter. Warning! To avoid electric shock and fires, never use an extension cord that is damaged. Extension cords must have three-prong plugs that accept the machine plugs. Do not use an adapter. See your operator's manual for further instructions. Unwrap the interconnect cord from its holder on the flat pack and plug its connector into the matching Sea Snake system connector on the monitor pack. To join the connectors, make sure the red arrow on the connector is facing up. Push the connector straight in and tighten the locking sleeve. If the connector does not push in easily, make sure the guide pin on the interconnect cord's connector is aligned with the guide socket on the monitor pack's connector. Note, twist only the outer locking sleeve. Bending or twisting the connector body inside the locking sleeve will damage the connector. When unplugging, you may wiggle a little if necessary, but do not bend or twist. Note, the interconnect cord should be disconnected from the monitor pack whenever moving or transporting system. Press and release the multifunction button on the back of the monitor pack to turn the power on. The red LED indicator will light. You should see an image on the monitor screen in a few seconds. If you do not, check to make sure the monitor's power switch is turned on. To turn the system off, press and quickly release the multifunction button. Put the camera head into the access point and adjust the camera's lighting if necessary. To adjust the camera's lighting, press and hold the red multifunction button. After about four seconds, the red LED indicator on the monitor pack will begin flashing rapidly. This indicates that the camera's LED lighting elements are cycling through their brightness levels. When the image inside the pipe looks good, release the red multifunction button. When the monitor pack is turned on, the camera's lighting will always be at full brightness and in most cases will not require adjustment. If necessary, you may adjust the monitor's image controls to further improve the picture. The image controls are located on either the bottom front or bottom rear of the monitor. When the interconnect cord is plugged into the monitor pack, the video in-out jack functions as a video out jack. An RCA cable can be used to connect this jack to the video in jack of a VCR for recording or to another monitor. When the interconnect cord is not plugged into the monitor pack, the video in-out jack functions as a video in jack. An RCA cable can be used to connect this jack to the video out jack of a VCR for reviewing a recording you have made. The camera pushes better when grip-style rubber gloves are worn. It's much easier to get a grip on dirty push cable, and the gloves also keep sludge off the hands. Proper positioning of the equipment and pushing of the cable will save time, be more comfortable, and minimize the potential for equipment damage. When pushing, the end of your stroke should be as close to the entry as possible. Standing too far back with an excess of cable between your hands and the entry may cause the cable to fold onto itself outside the entry and damage the cable. 
Do not fold the push cable onto the sharp edge of an entry. This can cause it to snap. Extreme caution must be used to minimize the chance of bending the push cable on sharp corners. This can cause push cable failure. If the camera does not want to go any further, do not force the camera. If another entry is available, try it or run water down the line. Running water down the line will keep the system much cleaner and allow you to push noticeably further with less friction. This will also help you to locate the bottom of the pipe. If the water is preventing you from seeing an area of importance, temporarily turn it off. Note, hands should be close to the line opening. Do not catch the cable on the edge of an entry and continue to push. When inspecting a pipe, it is usually necessary to give a little extra push in the bends. Back the camera head approximately 6 inches from the bend and give it a quick push, popping the camera through a turn, using the least amount of force required. Do not hammer or snap the camera head through corners. The best way to inspect a section of pipe is to push the camera through quickly, then draw the camera back slowly and evenly. It's easier to control the camera when pulling. Make sure the sapphire window is clean prior to entry. In some cases, a slight film of liquid detergent on the lens port helps minimize the possibility of grease sticking to the lens port. Do not clear obstructions with the camera head. The Sea Snake Flat Pack is a diagnostic tool that identifies problems. It should never be used to clear obstructions. Other tools should be used to make effective repairs. The system can travel through multiple 45 and 90 degree bends and Ys. Do not, however, try to force it through a P-trap or T if there is a large amount of resistance. Be careful in T entries not to fold the camera back on itself. This could cause the camera to get caught. Avoid lines containing harsh solvents, chemicals, and electrical charge and excessive heat. The flat pack can be laid on its back, set upright, or hung by its handle during transport and storage. The interconnect cord should always be disconnected from the CCU and wrapped snugly around the storage hooks on the drum. For temporary storage at the job site, the camera head can be tucked inside the cone. For transportation and storage between jobs, the camera head should be pushed down through the cone and into the drum to protect the camera. The monitor pack should always be transported and stored with the interconnect cord disconnected. Care should be taken to secure the monitor pack so it does not get thrown around during transport and so that other equipment does not fall on it. Store the system in a cool, dry, shaded place. Note, do not power wash. Camera heads cannot withstand the pressure generated by power washers. To clean the camera, simply place it in a bucket of soapy water. Pull on the spring and swish the spring through the water. To clean the push cable, simply pull it through a moist rag as it is retrieved from the pipe.